Hey, what's going on guys? It's Adam from GHL Mastery and today I had my mind absolutely blown. If you haven't been paying attention, uh, you may not have heard that ChatGPT launched their new AI agent and I decided to take it for a little bit of a test spin today and needless to say, as I gave it some simple prompts and just watched it get to work, I was completely blown away by what it was actually able to accomplish. So I'm gonna give you the use case real quick and I'm gonna tell you a little bit about why I, try, I decided to try to do this. I did a very, very simple system and a very simple solution. So what I wanted to do is I wanted to see if I could get the agent to log into my high level sub account, create a brand new sub account for the demo system that I was gonna do, um, create pipeline opportunity stages, create a form with unique custom fields, and then go ahead and create workflows and start to build action. So the very first test that I did, which is what I'm gonna show you here, was very, very simple. Um, and I'm gonna show you the prompts and I'm gonna show you how it all works. So let's, uh, let's dive into my screen here. And here is the prompt that I gave it. Um, and I'll show you how to set up the agent in just a second, but I wanna show you how simple the prompt was that I gave it. You are an expert Go High Level developer and you have the ability to access all of the help docs at help.gohighlevel.com. Your job is to create a new sub account and start to build out a basic system. You will start by creating a new pipeline and following these stages. So these are how we name and label our stages. Then you need to start creating basic assets. You'll go to sites and forms and create a basic contact form with name, email, phone number, and then two custom fields asking about roof age and square footage. Select the field type that you think is best. Once the form is created, you will go into the automations and workflows, and you will create a workflow for each pipeline stage listed above. For the workflow 001, new lead, the trigger will be the form submission of the form you just created, and the action will be to create the opportunity 001 new lead in the pipeline stage. And the second action will be to send an email and then an SMS. So I wanted to give it a really, really simple framework to start with just to see what it could do. Cause this is the first time I'd ever really tried it. Um, and much to my amazement, it did exactly what I told it to do. And what it does is it starts to work in the background like this. So this is actually live. This is happening right now. Um, what I had it do was build that basic system that I just told it to build with very little instructions. Um, and then I wanted to say, hey, could it actually do a full scale build with the detailed scope frame docs that we actually provide to our internal build team, um, which is this document right here. And this kind of outlines absolutely everything that's gonna take place. So I'm really curious to see what it's gonna do with the workflows, because we have, as you can see, a lot of conditional logic in here and different actions that we have it make but these documents we create for every single one of our clients so that they know exactly what's happening inside their system. Um, and I'm using this document to see if the AI can actually decipher this and then go and create that. So we'll, I'll, I'll let you know later on if that actually does take place. So here is the sub account that it created and it literally created this sub account exactly the same way that I would have done it. If I had have told it to load a snapshot, I'm sure it would have done the same thing, but I told it to create a basic brand new account. So it went through the agency side, went to sub accounts, clicked on create a sub account. It made up a name for it. Um, just uh, roofing demo was what it was called. And I just changed it um, so that I could figure out where to find it. And it just made up everything. So it made up the address and everything just because I didn't give it any of that information to plug in. So it just started making up information and it created this entire sub account completely hands off. The next thing it did was exactly what I told it to do and it went and created opportunities. So it came into the opportunities section here. It went to um, pipelines and then created a new pipeline. And so what it actually, and it's right now it's actually building this one here because I told it to, but this is the original pipeline that it built. Um, so every stage that I told it to build, it built. And then I went in, then it went into sites, went into forms. Again, I didn't tell it what to do, it just did. Um, this is the roof contact form that it created. And there you go, full name, email, phone number, roof age, and square footage, just like I asked it to do. Um, and then it went into automations and it created this entire structure of workflows. Now this is the type of work that we would generally have our level one dev team do. So create all of the assets so that we can get the level two guys to go in and start to build inside those and make all the conditional logic work. So I'm very, very curious to see what it's gonna do now that it's got this document um, and see if it can actually create those conditional logics. But let's go into the new lead workflow because this is the one that I told it to do something in. So it created the trigger for me. The form submission is the form that it created, just like I said. 
create an update opportunity. It did this. I did not give it any information on what to put in here. So I should have told it to create the opportunity name based on the contact. Um, and I could probably tell it to do anything else I wanted to do. But then it went in and it created the email. Um, thank you for contacting us about your roofing needs. And it wrote this whole email for me. I didn't tell it what to write at all. You guys saw the instructions. And then here's the SMS. So it did exactly what I asked it to do, which is absolutely mind blowing to me um, that it was able to do this. It took it about 45 minutes to accomplish this task specifically, um, but it did. And it's really, really cool. Now I'm gonna show you guys how this worked. So the other really cool thing about this is that it's, it's showing you what it's doing at all times. It's giving you little um, annotations telling you what it's doing if it's running into an issue. Um, I've, I've even had it tell me like, hey, I'm trying to save it here, but for whatever reason, it's not changing. Um, and then it's telling you the logic. It actually told me that this yellow but dot right here disappeared when I hit save. So I'm gonna assume that it saved and then it went out and it continued on going. And so it's really narrating to you everything that it's doing, all of the fields that it's looking at. Um, and right now it's actually creating an AI status field. Um, and it's, I'm assuming it looks like it did choose a radio button, which is perfect. Um, and then it's now creating the AI on AI off status fields, just like we have in our detailed scope doc, which is amazing. Let's go and create a new chat because I want to show you guys exactly what this does and how it works. So I'm going to go into tools and I'm going to go to agent mode. And then once I go into agent mode, I can ask it to do anything I want. So I'm going to say, you know, go into app.gohighlevel.com and create, then log into Adam's sandbox account and create a new workflow called Z00 or 099 test workflow. Create a trigger of Facebook form submitted, then update the opportunity in the new lead stage and send an email and a text message. So this is just the basic instructions that I'm giving it right now. Um, it's already working. So this is still working over in this project right here. Uh, which is pretty cool. And so now it's going to set up its desktop. Um, once it sets up the desktop, it's going to go to the URL app.gohighlevel.com. And if it needs me to log in, it's going to ask me to take over and then I can go ahead and I can log in. It does give you a warning saying like, hey, this might be a privacy concern. So be aware of that. Um, you just say yes or no. Um, and then you log in and then you say, I'm done. And then the AI just takes over again. So let's see what it does here. It's taking its time. I see. There you go. So now it's browsing the web. It's going to go to the app.gohighlevel.com, just like I told it to. So again, it's giving me all the information of what is currently going on. Um, and it, it's also problem solving in the middle of this too. So there's been a couple of situations where um, the original sub account that it created, I actually renamed the sub account. And when it tried to go and start initiating the second set of tasks that I gave it, it was uh, it was saying like, hey, I can't find the sub account, but I'm going to go look for roofers because that's what I named it. And then it was able to find the new name that I gave it. He said, I'm going to try this one. And it was the reasoning of it was quite, quite impressive. Um, so now that the page is loaded, it needs me to log in here. So I'm actually going to go ahead and take over now to log in. So it asked me to take over. I can click take over here and then I can go ahead and log in with my email. And I'm gonna go through two-factor authentication here as well, like I always do. Let me get my phone out. Okay, so now it's logging in. I'm gonna say finish controlling because now I want it to go and find the Adam Sandbox account that I told it to go and find. User is logged in. It's telling me what it's doing. Now it's gonna go find Adam Sandbox account. The interesting thing is I have a uh, a D A M comma S. So let's see if it can actually troubleshoot and find it. And I also believe I started it with a Z. So all of our test accounts, we generally will start with a Z so that it puts them at the bottom of the list. So let's see how well it does at troubleshooting this. I'm not going to touch it. I want to just see what it does. So now it's decided to just use a scroll bar because it does not know that it's Z with a comma between the M and the S. I'm going to try something here. I'm going to say the account is Z dot Adams sandbox. Just try to help it out a little bit here. While it's thinking, let's go back to the other one and see what it's doing over here. Still building some forms, navigating to custom fields to create new ones. There you go. So it's still working in the background, which is super, super powerful because this means that I can just kind of set this up. Once I've got it dialed in, I can set it up, leave it alone. I can leave it on my monitor over here and I can continue to do my work elsewhere if I want to, which is super, super cool. Anyways, I will make a follow-up video to this um, because I don't want to sit here for 45 minutes while it kind of does its thing but you kind of get the idea. I was able to just give it some super basic information and then I gave it some more advanced information. So I'm really curious to see how that's gonna perform and see what it actually 
pulls off inside that sub account with the detailed scope instructions that I'm giving it. The one thing that I'm the most curious about is how is it going to do with um, high level workflows and conditional logic. So um, I will create a follow up video on this to show you guys what ends up coming out of it. Um, super, super cool already incredibly powerful. I let this thing run on its own for about 45 minutes and it created the entire sub account for me with very little information. Um, so very, very cool. We'll see what happens moving forward. Hope that was cool for you guys and go and play because there's a lot, man, the world is changing and I'm, I'm personally really excited about it. Um, I don't know. I know that there's some people that aren't so excited about it, but we'll, we'll see. I think that there's going to be a lot of really amazing things that we're going to be able to do with this in the near, near future. So stay tuned for the update video. When all of this stuff is done, I'll walk you through exactly what happened on the system. Take care.